very good. Dr. Subrute, uh, Greta, um, we were working together already for quite some time. You are cont uh, contributing to the uh, Favor 3 study uh, significantly, and that's also Thank part you. of your work. And um, I'm always referring to your nice paper that you wrote, uh, I think it was last year, where you compared the QFR with the IFR with the FFR, right. and, you, and you saw all kinds of, uh, I think, very positive um, features of the QFR. Can you summarize that data again for us? Uh, surely, I, uh, what I may say uh, shortly about the data that QFR showed to be uh, associated with really reduced uh, um, radiation dose for both, of course, patient and the physician. But as we stand here and we work in that uh, um, ionizing radiation facilities every day, it's very important for us as a doctors. Yeah, yeah. So this is the main, uh, I think, the main topic and the main point of that uh, work. Yeah, I think you mentioned also uh, less, indeed, less fluoroscopy time, but that radiation dose, I believe also less contrast agent. Yes, of course. And, so we... uh, and indeed, for the patient, it's radiation is an important issue, but for you as a physician standing in the cath lab, you get it day in, day out. Yes, and that is where Absolutely. it is uh, very, very important. And do you bring this down also into um, your daily clinical practice? Do you, do, are you more conscious on what you are doing and how the QFR can help you? Uh, actually, QFR, we use I think every day in our clinical practice uh, for uh, patients with intermediate stenosis, of course, for if it were three trial, um, but uh, we promote it in our clinic. Uh, doctors are getting more and more familiar with that and they begin to believe our findings, our results. And the, in some cases, they just came, came to me and asked, could you uh, calculate, evaluate uh, those vessels uh, with QFR. So I'm really proud of that and I'm happy with that, that result we have in our clinic. Yeah. Now, also, one of the things that we promote always is the use of the post PCI QFR, so that the result after the procedure should be higher than 0.91 or 0.91. Right, right, Do right. Do you use that also in your clinic? We start to use that. We have several uh, patients with, with this result. Uh, but we just uh, started to do so a couple months ago. So okay, yeah. Not many no, sure, that, that but, but there's a beginning yes. and, uh, yes. and you see the, uh, the, the, the possible positive impact of that. Of course, definitely. And, and the same is like what we do nowadays to try to characterize the vessel better in terms of focal disease, diffuse mm -hmm. disease, because that also makes a lot of difference in how to treat the patients properly. Right. So the, the more features we provide, I think the better it is also for you and, and, for, and for your colleagues. Yes. Now the study that you did is a, a single center study. For and now, for yes. Now. For now. And uh, I think you have tried also to make it a multi-center study, but that may not be easy. Uh, we talked with uh, with other uh, fever trial centers, so we are planning to do some sub-study or something to, near to fever trials, oh, yeah. so we are planning that with Niels, we, are, yeah. we, we talked about that, yes. Yeah, with uh, Niels Holm, who is yes, the yes. PI of the yes, fever yes, uh, yes, study. Yes, yeah. yes, right. Yeah. And, and of course, in the fever 3 study, there's a lot of data that we will be able to use. It's uh, After finishing the study. After finishing, so... <laughs> But that is now our highest priority. Yes. Finalize the, the study, um, and that's so that we can also after, here after that also present the result that uh, hopefully you are a PCR again. That or, would or, be great. <coughs> or TCT or whatever. Okay. But that will be very great. And um, any any news that you have new ideas on the QFR, new usage? Uh, uh, actually, yesterday I performed. Um, uh, presentation presented our uh, maybe the newest data of QFR. So we evaluated QFR in STEMI patients and non non culprit lesions, yeah. uh, evaluating at the index procedure uh, while patients coming with STEMI, 
and for stage procedure, during stage procedure, after at least three months. Okay. The results were great. Uh, uh, correlation was uh, much uh, up uh, 0 0.95 in all coronary arteries, and uh, the treatment decision uh, agreement was um, 0 0.98. That's perfect. Okay. We had only one mismatch in right coronary artery uh, when the first QFR was uh, 0 0.80 and the second during stage procedure was 0 0.81. So that's on the average yeah, and, yeah. and uh, we, yeah. we think that results are perfect. Okay, that, that's, that sounds very, very promising. And... Yes. And great results. Are you going to publish that also? Of course, yeah. definitely. Oh, okay. Definitely. <laughs> it's now a matter of writing it up and. Uh, yes, and, yes. And, and how many patients were that based? Uh, I presented uh, data of 105 vessels of 79 patients, okay. but we have now more patients in that uh, study, so I believe that for the publications we have much more numbers of vessels. That is already a significant number. Yes, yes, yeah. I believe that. Okay. Well, I mean, you are doing great work. And Thank we look you. Forward Thank to, you. To your um, uh, enrollment of the patients and also for all these additional extra papers and publications and ideas about mm -hmm. how to use the QFR. And Thank as you, you have seen here also, we are making the QFR simpler and simpler. And, it's uh, perfect. I, I used to try to use now the newest version. It's perfect, less than, than one minute. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Yeah, so we, we keep on pushing it more and more to, mm -hmm. to get it simpler and simpler in the cat lab. I think uh, you will be uh, applied wider and wider and wider in clinical practice and improve, of course, the patient's outcomes because the yeah. more and more. Um, PCIs will be evaluated and based on physiological evaluation. That's yeah. perfect. Yeah. That's what I, we're working for. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I would like to thank you very much for this interview. We will be in contact and, and talk to each other um, regularly. And thank I wish you. wish you success with all your uh, research and the clinical use also in clinical practice. Thank you very much, Hans. Thank you very much, Greta. Yeah.